month. Hi, Dedici here from astrology.com.au. Let me just get out onto the gazebo here and uh, talk about something we began a couple of months ago, which uh, I think is pretty important. It's not specifically astrology, but I think it's important to talk about the difference between the what and the how. That's the one that people uh, get a little bit uh, caught up in. Get some light going on in here as well. Make life a bit easier for us. A bit dark. <clears throat> so what do I mean by the difference between the what and the how? You know, too often we get caught up in the process of, well... How am I going to get what I want to get? Yeah, we sort of vaguely know what we want. But then it uh, becomes, well, how am I going to get that happening? What are all the intricate processes involved in getting me from A to B? And what I'm saying and have been saying is that um, the how is not as important as the what. The karmic principles are very clear that once the what is crystallized, then the how mysteriously starts to take over. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by crystallizing that? I guess that's the question a lot of people ask me that. So it's very simple. It's clarifying in your own mind, but not just in your own mind, what it is you want in life. And don't be vague. I mean, oh, I want to be happy. <laughs> but how? How do you want to be happy? What is it that would make you happy precisely? A million dollars or you know, finding that perfect partner, becoming spiritually enlightened? Uh, what? And so it's not just a matter of getting that firmly in your brain, it has to be externalized. It would be preposterous to ask a builder to build you a house, your dream house, which is here in your head. You know exactly what you want in your head, but how is the builder or the architect going to you know, make that a reality? Unless, of course, it is projected onto paper and there are specific... Um, dimensions to the what. So that's what I'm talking about in terms of what it is you want in your life, where you want to be, what specificity have you attached to that objective or goal? What date have you attached to that? That reminds me of the Jim Carrey story where he wrote a check for himself for $10 million. That is what he wanted and he wanted it so much that he actually physically wrote a check, put it in his wallet. That actually came to pass. And even he would say, along with many, many other uh, successful people, that the how is that, that mysterious part of the process. The what is almost like the magnet attracting the processes that make that actually happen. So where does astrology come into that, I guess you're asking. Well, the transits of the planets give us the information on the how and the in-between, what, you know, what sorts of processes go on to, you know, making that an actuality. But the specificity is really the end date. Um, and actually the horoscope provides an insight into the, what we call the promise of the horoscope. In other words, the yeah, combinations of planets at the time you're born give a fairly strong indication of, for example, uh, whether or not you're likely to be wealthy and make that million dollars. So I know where you're going with the next question. Well, Dedici, what's the point of writing down a million dollars as my objective of what if my horoscope shows I am not destined to have that? You still have to have a what. You know? And I'm not saying that every single person that writes out a check for themselves for $10 million like Jim Carrey is going to going to realize 10 million dollars but having that 
clear-cut objective, and I guess in some ways a plan, but not worrying too much about the how. What I've found, and I'm sure many of you have, is that whatever problems you have in life, the solution is often completely different to what you'd planned it to be. There'll be some sudden left-of-field uh, solution that just turns up out of, out of the blue. So the first part of the exercise really is only to do with the what. You know, what exactly do you want? You know, I ask a lot of people, oh, well, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to earn at least 1500 bucks a month. And I say to them, well, why not 15000 a month? They go, well, that's ridiculous, Denise. Why is it ridiculous? I learned that when I was in sales many, probably in another life, 30 years ago. Remember, I'd been you know, selling office equipment for the Sharp Corporation, and I'd been knocking on all these small business doors and you know, just getting rejected. And my manager pulled me aside one day and said, you know, you spent an hour knocking on all those small doors. Why don't you spend that same hour knocking on big doors, some really big corporations? And it made sense. If I've got to spend you know, half an hour in an appointment with someone who's only going to buy something for a couple of grand... I could spend the same half hour talking to someone who's going to spend a couple hundred grand. So I realised that um, yeah, aim higher, set the bar a lot higher. All you have to do is figure out the what. The how will happen. But you know, people come to me and say, oh, well, you know, I wrote it all down. Specificity. I have a friend, she even wrote down the height, the colour of the hair, the colour of the eyes, the quality of the person. The soulmate, that was the what. All she did was write down such specificity. You'd be amazed at how similar this guy looks to the design she had. So I always say design your destiny. And in fact, this is an extension of part of my work, which is called destiny engineering. Engineering your destiny. Forget about the how to engineer that and just understand that the what the clarification of the objective in your mind is the magnet that attracts those life processes that are going to make it happen. Hang around, we've got the 12 signs now. I hope you'll uh, take a look at the how. That tells us a little bit of the how, but what's happening for the month of February. And I hope the year's going well for you, as it is for me. You know, it's great to be alive, having nearly died last year. I've got to tell you, I'm feeling a lot better. Getting a little bit more colour in the face, I think. Um, yep, uh, the, they say the camera doesn't lie. Report to your company. Hang around. Take care.